I mean, there were a lot of days where I didn't know if my dreams were even possible. But I would ask myself this question on the hard days where I didn't want to shoot 500 shots at, in the gym. I didn't want to hit tennis balls off the wall for three hours in 100 degree weather. I would just ask myself, what if you can accomplish this dream and you can go all the way and prove it to yourself that you can do it? But there is always an obstacle in the way, always this adversity. And that's the thing, when you go for your dreams, there's always going to be something. There's always going to be that adversity that's in front of you, that's right there. And you have two choices. You can either go home and not face that adversity and say, oh, this is too hard. I can't do this. Or you can suck it up and say, I really want this dream. It's just, you don't even have to say it. You just feel it deep down inside of you that this is what you're supposed to do. And no matter who or what gets in your way, you're going to accomplish that dream. For me, the first one I had was to play high school basketball with my friends. The adversity that I had in my way was my family and friends thought I couldn't do it because I had cerebral palsy. Now my parents wouldn't let me play for pretty good reasons because they thought I would get hurt. I just wasn't strong enough, big enough, or fast enough to keep up with the other kids. And that was kind of a problem. But I loved basketball. And I knew I could find a way around it to someday get back onto the court and play with my brother and my friends. And on the days where I didn't know if that was possible, I would imagine myself walking out onto that basketball court, checking into the game with my brother and playing high school basketball. Then, when I accomplished that dream, I wanted to play tennis at a really high level. Play with the best of the best. And the obstacle they got in my way was back surgery. Now, if I would have quit then, I don't think anybody, my close friends or my family would have blamed me. Because it was a two year surgery and it was probably one of the hardest things I ever had to, go on, had to go through. But when I would walk around my neighborhood in the summertime, I would just imagine myself playing at the highest level at the USA Games or Special Olympics, or I would just imagine myself playing against the best players out there in Special Olympic tennis and winning points and doing well. And on those days where I was walking around my neighborhood trying to get better, or I was shooting baskets at the gym, hoping one day to get into a high school basketball game, I would always doubt myself, like, man, this is so hard. I'm so sore. Because I felt like I had to practice for hours, like at least three hours a day for both sports. But I would always tell myself, instead of, oh, if I didn't have cerebral palsy, this would be a lot easier. I would tell myself, what if you could do this even though you have cerebral palsy? What if you could complete your dream and show people and yourself that you can do the impossible? And trust me, it's a great thing when you can prove it to other people and yourself that you can do the impossible even when it seems like it's so hard and so difficult. No matter what you do in sports or your life, whatever dream you have for yourself, it's going to be hard. And you're going to have those days where you want to go home and just quit and quit the process of going for your dreams because there's some big adversity that got in your way. And it seems like it's going to be impossible to overcome and just too much effort. But instead of saying, well, if this didn't happen, I could have kept going and I could have accomplished my dream. Have the attitude of, well, man, if, if I get through this adversity and power through this and just believe in myself that I can overcome this, 
I can reach my dreams and just imagine the possibilities then that I can do in the future. Because trust me, when you accomplish one dream, then it makes you want to accomplish even more in life. When I reached the USA Games, after that, I felt like I could never turn back and say that I couldn't do something or I couldn't overcome adversity. Because I looked back at all the things I had to get through, through the back surgery and just every day of just regularly getting sick and all the times I got pneumonia and everything. And just trying to get through that. I told myself, you can never turn back now. No matter what life throws at you, you just, there's no turn back. You got to put in the work if you want to reach that dream. Because you've gone through too much just to quit now.